Okay, so what I want to do in this video, okay, is show you how I recommend you actually do your plotting for a running fix, okay? So this is from worksheet, uh, uh, whatever the worksheet number is, might be worksheet 8, uh, for the running fix class in ANAV. And we're going to do problem 4, okay? So now what, I, essentially at this point, I've already done all the reduction for problem 4. There are my three stars. Uh, Regulus, Antares, and Vega. Regulus was at 540, Antares is at 552, and Vega is at 6 o'clock. Okay, uh, I've got my assumed latitudes for all four. It's the same number. I got my assumed longitudes for all three, not all four, all three. And I calculated my intercept for all three. I got my azimuth for all three. And I know that Regulus was at uh, 540 in the morning, and Vega is at 6, and Terry's is at 552, and Vega is at 6. So I'm going to advance both of them to 6. Okay, I'm going to advance them all, these two, to the time of the last one. So, uh, and I already figured out all my advance, but I'm going to have to advance regular 6 miles, and Terry's 2.4 miles. And, of course, Vega I don't have to advance because it's going, it's going to be valid for its own time. So, in order to get ready for this plotting part, I had to do all that work. And I'm not going to show you how to do that work. I'm just going to show you how to do the plot now, how I recommend you do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to actually plot all of my APs. So here's 24, uh, 23, 25, and I've got 137 here, very right down here at the very bottom. Okay, and I got 137, uh, 138 over here. So uh, Regulus's AP was at 24, 137, 35.9. So uh, here we go. I can just go like this. Uh, here is this. So this is 30, 35.9. Look how easy it is for me to plot that right there. And that's going to be the AP for Regulus. Okay. Now I'm going to plot the AP for Antares. So that is 23.5. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 23.5. That's the AP for Antares. And then Vega is 23.2. Well, that's like right on top of this one. That's going to be like right there. And uh, Vega, okay? So what I've essentially done now is I plotted the AP for Regulus, and Antares and Vega are basically on top of each other. So that one spot there is going to be close enough, okay? Great. Now, normally what you do is you would start plotting your um, uh uh, lines of position from the APs and then you would advance them because you're supposed to all advance them but what I'm going to suggest you do to keep this thing nice and neat is I'm going to advance my APs first okay so I have to advance six miles on a course of 033 this AP so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this I'm going to get this triangle lined up to 033 okay so there is a 033 right there all right, I got that thing set for 033. Okay, now I got to slide this down just a little bit, otherwise I'm going to hit my little thing up there. Okay, that's great. That's 033 there. And I come over here. Okay, now that is, all right, now I'm going to measure six miles. Okay, so now I have to take that off my latitude scale. Unfortunately, I just covered my latitude scale with my triangle. Okay, so six miles. So I can just do this. That's you now I can take it from there. I can take it from the bottom. Anyway, that's five. That's six. So now I'm going to advance this guy, this AP, six miles. Okay, I just got to adjust that. There we go. Great. Okay, so this advance is going to be like this. Okay, and if I was using my, uh, my uh, divider with the pencil on it, okay, I could have just like made a pencil mark, but that is going to be the AP advanced, okay? And now I got to advance um, uh, Antares 2.4 miles along the same course. Okay, so let me, I learned a little something there. Let me get my 2.4 miles here. Oh, wow, these just give me 2.4 miles. Okay, so uh, let me get my 033 again here. 033. Okay, I got my 033. Okay, now I'm going to move my triangle. Okay. I'm going to make my little dot right there. All right. And that's the advanced AP for, uh, so this is going to be Regulus. And this is going to be uh, Antares. And Vega, I'm just going to leave there. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my LOPs. Okay. Now you might be saying to yourself, what the heck are you doing? Well, this is going to make things neater later. Okay. So, um, because I'm only going to end up with three lines on this thing instead of, you know, three lines and then two advanced lines to make five lines. I'm going to only have three lines. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my azimuth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do regulus is 277.6. So that should be something about like this. So I can put my pencil down there. I can slide my triangle right up against there. All right. And I'm going to look for, well, I'm going to do it like this. So here's 277.6. That looks pretty good right there. Okay. And I'm going to slide this down. Okay. Now there is 277.6. Now in CNAV, okay, they probably taught you to draw a line in the direction of the azimuth. Well, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, oh, I'm going to have a little problem here. I might have to work something out in just a second. What I want to do here is instead of me plotting that line and then me getting confused by that line, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do this. Okay. So that's my AP right there. That's 277. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to measure my intercept. My intercept is three miles towards. So I'm going to go like this, one, two, three, and it's three miles towards. So I'm going to put my divider down on that spot, and I'm going to go three miles towards along the edge of my triangle. I'm going to make a little mark. Okay. So that's the little mark right there. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other triangle, and I'm going to put it at a right angle to the first one. So they're not long edge to long edge. It's a short edge to the long edge. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it until this corner just barely covers this little mark where three miles is. So I'm going to go like this. It's just going to just barely cover it. Now I'm going to take this triangle away. I'm going to make it, put it at right angles. And now that is my LOP. This is going to be uh, the LOP at, uh, this is the 0540 to 0600 regulus. Okay. I just plotted the one line. Okay. I advanced the AP. Okay. I didn't put my little ZN down there. All right. I, uh, I did that little fancy thing with my triangles and now I've got my, uh, my LOP advanced in one shot for regulus. Now I'm going to do the same thing for Antares. So Antares, my azimuth is 167.4. So I'm going to go like this and get my 167.4. Uh, okay. I'm getting, a, I'm having a little bit of a, I got, I got something right here that's holding up my, anyway, uh, you guys don't need to know all that. All right. Uh, here we go. I'll do it from over here. Okay, great. So, uh, 165, 167, 167.4. That looks good enough. Okay, great. So now I'm going to bring that down like this. Okay. I'll bring that over. Okay. And I'm going to put that right on Antares. So that's 167.4. And my intercept is 26 away. So my azimuth is in this direction. So now I got to get 26, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. It's 26 exactly. That's the direction of the azimuth. So now I'm going to be 26 away. So I'm going to go like this. Okay. And I make a little spot up there. Okay. Great. So now I'm going to take my triangle and I'm just going to cover up that little spot. You can see it's right there. I'm just going to just cover it. Okay. Take this away. I'm going to bring my other triangle back around like this. And voila, this is now the Antares line, 0552, advanced to 0600, Antares. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I got an intersection right there. Well, let me drop, let me put my third line down. So my third line is Vega. Now my AP for Vega is basically down here, okay? So I didn't have to advance that one. So now uh, my intercept for that, my azimuth for that is 057. So let me get 057. 057 looks like it's about right there. Okay, great, I got that. And my intercept is gonna be 10 towards. All right, so let me get my, um, let me get my, 
little guy on this. So there we are. Okay. So now I'm there. Now I got to go 10 towards. So I go uh, here. Okay. There's 30, 35, 40. That's 10. Okay. And I go like this. And I go like this. All right. And there is my spot for that guy. Okay. And now I take my other triangle and I just cover that spot with the corner of my triangle. And I take this one and I flip it around. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Uh, boom, boom. All right. And I get that. Okay. So now, what does that tell me? Now, this is a Coast Guard problem. So really, it should be a nice tight triangle. Okay. Everything should be plotted together here. Okay. But what I'm going to show you now is, is that you might get this sometimes. Because if there was a little problem with one of your reductions or you had a little problem with some of your plotting, okay, it means at least one of your lines is off a little bit. So if you get to this, don't freak out. Okay. You might be like, oh my God, I just put, spent 40 minutes doing this. So I want to show you as a way that you can go now there and actually try and figure out if you can salvage anything from this. Okay. So hold on a second. I'm going to show you that. Okay. So what I've got here is, is I've got the actual answers for the Coast Guard problem. So here's the story. If two of these lines are good and one of them is bad, let's say these two are good and this one's bad, well then if I reject that one, this is going to be my fix. And if these two are good and that's bad, if I reject that one, that's going to be my fix. So what I'm hoping is, is that one of these spots in this triangle are going to end up being my actual answer. Now it turns out for this problem, the answer is four. Okay, now we don't know that yet, but this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my triangle and I'm going to look. Okay, so I got, uh, I'm going to look at my latitudes, 23, 26, 26. I'm going to see if one of these latitudes matches up with any of these points. Okay, so I can take this over here and I can come over here. All right, and uh, let's see. This latitude for this first one looks to be about 27 even. So 23, that's out. 26, that's out. Oh, there's a 27, but it looks like 27.5. Hey, wait a minute. That one looks like 27.5. Hey, this spot right there is exactly that. Okay, that's great. Let me check this one then. 137, 31.8. So here is 137. Here's 30. Here's 31.8 right there. And uh, when I do that, okay, um, yeah. Look at that. That's really close to right there. Okay. So uh, this 30.1, that, that up there is about pretty close to that. But this 24.5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 24.5, 25, 24. That's way over here. So this is the only spot in the plot that actually makes sense with what I did. And, and now if I spent 40 minutes, I don't want to go start, go back and do the whole thing all over again. I'm going to assume that I made a slight error somewhere in my calculation for this line and that that is actually my spot. And that's how I can reason. Uh, if I get a triangle like that, how I can reason through it to choose what I think is my best option without having to redo the whole problem.